Hey everyone, it's been a little while since my last video. In fact, I actually did a, a live video last week, but this is, it's been a little while since I did my last um, proper YouTube tutorial. So today's gonna be a really quick one, and it's going to be around how to create a dark mode really quickly using Figma. And I'm gonna be doing that today using a design file that I found in the community. Um, the community on Figma is uh, incredible resource of um, templates, uh, widgets, plugins, all the good stuff. Um, there's some really, really quality stuff on there, like really high quality stuff on there. So I, I recommend you go through the community and just have a look around, see what's on there. Maybe send some of your own stuff to the community and share with the, the greater design community, which is really cool. Um, so today I'm going to be taking a app um, that's been pre-made and then I'm going to apply a dark mode to it using a plugin and I'm going to show you what we can do to then tweak it and refine it and make it really good and just in like a really short space of time so you could spend ages doing a dark mode but um, there is a shortcut. So I'm going to be using this one by Blush um, which I believe Blush is Pablo Stanley's um, company um, and he, he does some really awesome uh, illustrations and things. I think he used to be one of the lead designers at Envision or something like that. Um, so yeah, probably should have looked that up. But I'm going to be using this today. I haven't actually tested this up front. I'm going to be doing this um, all on the fly. So as per all my videos, if something goes wrong, I'll show you how to fix it and we'll, we'll work for it that way. So here we go. Let's have a look. I've not actually looked at this file yet. I just spotted it just before starting this video. It looks like um, it's full of some really, really nice stuff. Some style guides, a nice cover, um, some components, illustration styles, and these templates. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull in one of these screens and we're going to use the plugin. So let's take this song view right here. That was weird. As I copied it, it loaded in an image. How strange. Anyway, let's have a look. In fact, these are quite similar, so I'm going to take one of those and I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to take these two. So we've got four, four artboards that we're going to work from. Um, frame, sorry. It's not illustrated. I'm just going to create a new page, call it dark mode. Here we go. So now we've got our four screens. I'm just going to line them, oops, put them all side by side and make sure they're evenly spaced because it looks nicer. Okay. So for this plugin to work, and this plugin is called, if I can find it, Dark Mode Magic. So you can download that from the community again. Just click home, go to community, type in Dark Mode Magic, and you can add it and it'll take probably less than a second to install. Um, but this this needs uh, you to select an entire frame. You can't just select, say, I put in this rectangle, let's make it red, and then plugins, dark mode magic. It says it's applied, but it needs an actual frame to do it. So let's have a look. Let's do this one. So I've no idea how this is gonna turn out. Um, so let's just have a look. And this is probably the kind of workthrough you all have when you try and do this. Um, you just got, it's a bit of trial and error initially. You don't really know what's gonna happen, but you can have a bit of a guess. So where are we? Right there, dark mode magic. And there we go, we've instantly got a dark mode applied. Now this one hasn't worked as expected because um, we're actually using an image here and that image can't, the colors can't be changed on that image. So what you'd wanna do here is rework this illustration um, with some new colors. And um, same here, well actually no, not the same here, but uh, same here, you wanna go through and refine things. So this is a dark blue, that's, that's not gonna work for us. So you might want to pull in a lighter blue and then everywhere that darker blue was used, you'd then um, swap it out for this new one. So let's have a go with this one. What have we got here? So we've got some, We've got some images, so these images might not work. These are also images. 
But here we've got some text and it's black and our background is uh, where the Inc 06 is, uh, which looks like it's just an off-white. So we're going to try it with this one. Let's have a look. Plugins, dark mode magic. There we go. We've got an instant dark mode. Um, it's taken all the, the color codes and found kind of corresponding ones for a dark mode. And then, so, I mean, this looks pretty good. You might disagree, but this looks pretty good to me. So what we could do is we could take this um, gray here and just replace, replace all our whites with that gray just to like soften it a bit. Let's click this again. When you click a, um, the frame itself, it will show you all the colors being used in that frame, which means that you can really quickly change colors in bulk. So let's say this, this background here is just a little bit dark. So we're going to, first of all, move it into the blues. We're just going to tweak it a little bit like so. So it's just it's just taking it a little bit off that um, real dark mode like that and just moving it ever so slightly so it's less intense like that and then maybe maybe you want to uh, change this gray so um, we can see that's the one for one with f28 so if we go back here and find it in our list one for one f28 and maybe we want to make this slightly different as well. Maybe we want this to be kind of more complementary with that background now that we've changed it. So there we go, we've got a dark mode already. Um, and this hasn't required us to do an entire kind of color branding exercise. Um, just been able to do that really quickly. What I quite like to do is to draw some uh, rectangles and then just use that to color pick some of the, the main colors that we're using as well. There's probably a plugin that lets you export the colors out directly so you can kind of have those colors together. Let's grab that. Whoops, keep missing. Let's grab that. Uh, font color we've got there. See, so we've got a really nice color palette here. These are really complementary. And then we're actually using this kind of purple here um, as our accent color. So let's pull that out as well. Because that really, really stands out against these other colors. So now we've got this really nice color palette. You can see that that kind of um, lavender really stands out against the black and the grays. This is a really nice color scheme. And, and this has taken barely any effort. So this is a really, really good way of experimenting with creating your dark mode. Now, I'd, I'd suggest you, you work really hard on your dark mode and um, refine it. Uh, don't just click the plugin and go with that because I mean you want to make sure that it's actually um, accessible as well so I'd argue this grey on this background doesn't really stand out enough so we probably want to grab this number 656 f77 and just tweak that a bit um, make it stand out a bit more there it is so we probably want to bring that up a little bit not too much because we, we still want it to um, be a little bit knocked back from our primary uh, text color because um, it's not the most important information here. It's kind of a secondary piece. So we want it slightly knocked back, but it was, if we look back before, it's that's quite hard to see, but applying a little bit more light into there, that's quite nice. And because we've done that using the selection colors from the overall frame itself, we can see that everywhere it has actually changed. So I'll just go and undo it again and you can see it's changed here as well perfect so that's a really really quick way of doing it and i'm just going to pick that color as well just so we've got it and this isn't the best way of doing it but i'm just going to do it like that for now yeah see that's not the best way of doing it so let's actually pick it like that oh no i actually got the color right and let's just swap these two over. Whoops. 
So if you select multiple objects, you get these little pink highlights and you can just swap them around like that, which is really cool. Okay, so that's this is the color palette we're kind of working on now. So we can now bring this over to our next artboard. I keep saying artboard, I mean frame. And we can quickly do the dark mode again. There we go. See, this hasn't quite worked as well. That uh, kind of, I don't know what, what color this is. Um, accent blue, according to uh, the Figma file. It doesn't quite stand out on the black um, background too well. So let's let's go pick. That's that looks a bit nicer. Let's go to our frame and grab our background, which is this one, I believe. And let's apply that to it. Great. So yeah, that's been updated, and then. I would say this doesn't stand out very well. So let's quickly just try our color here. Yeah, I'd say that still doesn't stand out well. So let's bring that up to a full white. Which looks a bit nicer. And then we can use this as our secondary in this case, because it's on a lighter background. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Same for all these nice light color here and then for our secondary whoops don't want to grab that let's make that that purple as well see what that looks like yeah it looks okay and pick our secondary one there. cool so there we go, we've, we've got a dark mode already. Like I said, we still need to swap out uh, this background, but we um, could probably just cheat at the moment and do a... I'll look at a few of these. Anyway, and let's do our last one here. Dark mode magic. I mean, this plugin is so good. It's really sped things up. And again, that blue hasn't worked for me. So let's let's grab, whoops, let's grab our accent color and replace all of those. Again, instantly that stands up so much better. Here's our uh, background color that we want to make sure works with the rest of them. There we go. And let's make that as that's our primary thing. Let's make that white. These are also quite important. So let's make those white, make them really stand out. I actually want to make these white as well. So that pause. Yeah, that looks good. Let's make both of these a purple and Look how this file works. That's quite nice, but let's make it match the rest of our design. So change the color a bit there. Actually, that might be knocked back a bit too much now. So we might need to. In fact, I'm going to go back to the original there. That works nicer. Let's grab these icons. those white and there we go we've really really quickly taken our design that we've in this case pulled from um, uh, from the community um, and again it is uh, blush blushes music app UI you can find this in the community check it out it's really cool um, and then we've used our plugin again. That was uh, dark mode magic to quickly apply a base for our dark mode. We've then created a really quick color palette um, just by tweaking some of those colors and making sure they work. Um, and then we've applied that to all of these. So the only thing left to do now is to probably head over to Blur's website and change this, the color of this background, or you could do it in Photoshop or something like that. Um, that 
probably doesn't work. So let's quickly change that to our accent as well. There we go. So we've got a dark mode music app. And how long did that take? Probably 10, 15 minutes. Um, so that's a really, really quick way of doing a dark mode. I really hope you like this video. Uh, let me know in the comments below if uh, it was helpful. Um, let me know your, your techniques for applying dark mode. Um, and if you want to take this a little bit further, it'd be really worth um, downloading some accessibility plugins and just making sure that, for example, um, this, this gray stands out on this background, like that's readable and that passes um, the accessibility checks. So it's really important to use accessibility plugins when working with your color schemes um, for both dark mode and light mode or just in app design and web design in general. Um, so yeah, please like and subscribe. Um, share this video with your friends or, or on social media. That would really help the channel and look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. And let me know if you want to see more live tutorials as well. I li my live tutorials use um, StreamYard as a service and that means that you can ask me questions from any platform that I've streamed to um, and I can answer them either in the live stream or after the live stream in the comment section on YouTube. So please do check out my live videos as well and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.